Uh, what is the Galois field? Galois field to field is nothing but the set of elements which satisfies uh, multiplication and addition property and uh, uh, different laws like associative, distributive law, commutative law. And uh, the GF of 2 is nothing but Galois field with the basic element 0 and 1 which satisfies uh, all the properties 0, 1. Now, what are the different uh, polynomial representations based on? Galois field. So, for example, f of x, any polynomial that can be represented as f0, there's a coefficient, f1, x, f2, x square, and so on. This is a polynomial representation which you are already familiar. So, now <coughs> a polynomial, it may be any polynomial, or a polynomial p of x or f of x, p of x, and particularly over a gf of 2. So, all these are the definitions required to understand the terminology for a minimum polynomial. Over GF of 2 and the very important is of degree M or order M is uh, said to be irreducible. So, it's a one important definition is said to be irreducible over GF of 2. If P of X it's very important is not divisible by is not divisible by any polynomial any polynomial over gf of 2 of degree less than m but greater than 0 it's a basic definition so here so, what are the parameters involved in this? Okay, and the simple logic is, uh, for example, okay, and here, uh, for degree 2, so different polynomials are uh, x square, x square plus 1, x square plus x, and x square plus x plus 1. And for degree 1, the polynomials are x, x plus 1. If you want to find what is the irreducible polynomial with the degree 2, so there is a need to find uh, uh, which polynomial is not divisible by these two, x or x plus 1. By finding this, uh, okay, only x square plus x plus 1 is not divisible with any two, x or x plus 1. x square plus x plus 1 is the irreducible polynomial. Similarly, for degree 3, we have the different possibilities and the polynomial x cube plus x plus 1 is irreducible. And uh, only for uh, representation we are uh, considering this and for degree 3 there are other uh, irreducible polynomials are also there. For degree 4, degree means highest power in the polynomial representation. Degree 4, x power 4 plus uh, x plus 1 is irreducible. And in addition to this, we have the another uh, representations for uh, uh, degree 4. And now the very important definition is, okay, and here a polynomial, a, this irreducible polynomial, okay, and uh, an irreducible polynomial is another definition. An irreducible polynomial, P of X of degree, m or it may be 4 is said to be it's a very important definition said to be primitive so that means uh, we are to consider out of all the irreducible poly uh, polynomials of the degree 4 we have to take only one polynomial primitive polynomial if smallest positive integer positive integer n for which P of x divides x power n plus 1 is n is equal to 2 power m minus 1. So, for example, for m is equal to 4, x power 15 plus 1 is divisible with only x power 4 plus x plus 1. So, that's why we have so many irreducible polynomial with degree 4. Out of all the things, x power 4 plus x plus 1 is the 
primitive polynomial primitive polynomial and that is considered for the representation of minimum polynomial okay now <coughs> Uh, how can you represent uh, extension fields extension fields as we discussed gf of 2 gf of 2 and gf of 2 power m are the important now for m is equal to 4 okay and for all the calculations i will follow the order m is equal to 4 now the primitive polynomial for m is equal to 4 is primitive polynomial it is x power 4 plus x plus 1 now the elements of extension field g power gf of 2 power m that can be represented by <laughs> that can be represented by the set of elements is a uh, 0 1 alpha alpha square up to alpha 2 power m minus 2 according to the representation of the definition galois field extension field are represented with these elements and uh, uh, all the elements that can be calculated by because order is uh, or degree is of 4 you can find the elements as the elements as uh, setting p of alpha is equal to 0 so the primitive polynomial is x power 4 plus x plus 1 is a p of x now p of alpha is equal to set then we can find what the elements involved in this okay and the simple logic is p of alpha is equal to 1 this means uh, alpha power 4 alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 so that means the initial elements like so these calculations are meant for only for m is equal to 4 and uh, the polynomial elements uh, the values that can be calculated by alpha power 4 alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 we have to take this value uh, this uh, representation because v of x is a primitive polynomial and with this notation so now the elements are uh, uh, okay and i can write the elements are 0 1 alpha because alpha over 4 is a defined one alpha alpha square alpha cube all these are the distinct values distinct values now we have to represent alpha over 4 as so now with the we got the modulo or the modulo 2 arithmetic now alpha 4 is equal to alpha plus 1 and don't use minus alpha minus 1 because it is a modulo 2 arithmetic okay and if you added uh, the same value alpha plus 1 both sides alpha plus 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 alpha plus 1 plus alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 and 0 plus alpha plus 1 will get the value like this alpha power 4 is equal to alpha plus 1 now alpha power 4 and these are the elements up to alpha power 14 but alpha power 4 that can be represented as alpha plus 1 so that means all the elements are represented with in terms of 0 1 2 uh, alpha alpha square alpha cube only in the same way alpha power 5 so alpha alpha power uh, 5 that can be represented by alpha uh, power 4 into alpha so we know that uh, alpha power 4 is equal to alpha plus 1 so now the representation is alpha square plus alpha like that we can find the equivalent representation so this equivalent representation is uh, essential to find a parity check matrix h so that means uh, all the elements that can be represented in polynomial format as well as the binary format and with that we can represent the parity check matrix so in this pattern okay and just uh, here i'm giving uh, the complete table related to the uh, in order to save time okay and here uh, i'm representing the same thing with the table table format so here it is a representation alpha power 4 as i mentioned it is alpha plus 1 alpha power 5 is equal to alpha plus alpha square the same thing is represented in terms of uh, power representation polynomial representation four triple representation it's a binary representation so now so these uh, terms are zero so here as uh, i mentioned the field considers the elements extension field considers the element 0 1 alpha alpha square up to alpha uh, 14 0 is represented as zero polynomial representation and binary is 0 0 0 0 one is represented one that means here these are the elements one alpha alpha square alpha power three so for alpha alpha zero one zero zero alpha square zero zero one zero alpha cube zero 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 one as we discussed alpha power four is equal to one plus alpha so that's why one is uh, set for one and alpha alpha for uh, five that is alpha plus alpha square which can be represented zero one one zero so by knowing this binary equivalent for uh, uh, extension field we can now uh, find uh, the binary representation and accordingly we can represent the parity check matrix
okay and in the same way alpha power 5 alpha power 11 and we can refer uh, remaining element so now we have to find uh, after the representation of the galois field extension g of 4 to power m with m is equal to 4 f is equal to 0 1 2 sorry 0 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube and up to alpha alpha power 14 now we have to find uh, what are the conjugate roots conjugate roots that means we have to separate all these uh, elements into different groups and uh, accordingly we have to find what is the polynomial based on the roots polynomial based on this root this polynomial is called minimum polynomial minimum polynomial okay and here that can be calculated by so conjugate root means so now if you are taking uh, beta is the base element beta is a base element the conjugate roots are beta square beta power 4 beta power 8 and so on these are the general uh, patterns okay and uh, for example 0 and 1 are basic elements now if you are taking beta is equal to alpha now the conjugate roots are alpha alpha square alpha power 4 alpha power 8 so here uh, these are the conjugate roots correspond to the beta is equal to alpha because alpha square is already represented here now i have to take beta is equal to alpha cube will take only odd numbers even numbers are having the similar pattern that we'll discuss later beta is equal to alpha cube now what are the conjugate roots correspond to the beta is equal to alpha cube alpha cube comma alpha cube whole square alpha cube whole power 4 and alpha cube whole power 8 so the equivalents are alpha cube and uh, alpha power 6 alpha power 12 all these are the in the set of uh, extension field that's why there is no problem at all alpha power 24 now what the equivalent uh, for this alpha power 24 alpha power 24 is equal to alpha power 15 into alpha power 9 and we know alpha power uh, 15 is equal to 1 it is always represented in general alpha power 2 power m uh, minus 1 it is always 1 so that's why it is uh, extended up to alpha power 14 only so m is equal to 4 means it is alpha power 15 so that is set as 1 1 is already there in the element in the field that's why were represented up to alpha power 14 so with this notation alpha power 15 is equal to 1 that is nothing but alpha power 24 is nothing but alpha power 9 so now for beta is equal to alpha cube so now we can take uh, the elements are alpha cube alpha power 6 alpha power 9 alpha power 12 in the same way beta is equal to alpha power 5 we will get the elements alpha power 5 alpha 5 <coughs> whole square alpha power 5 whole power 4 alpha 5 whole power 8 uh, we know that alpha power 5 alpha power 10 alpha power 20 alpha power 40 now these two are in the set and alpha power 20 is nothing but alpha power 15 into alpha power 5 that is equal to alpha power 5 so alpha power 20 is nothing but alpha power 5 similarly alpha power 40 is <coughs> alpha power uh, 15 into alpha power 15 into alpha power 10 these two are ones and again it is alpha power 10 so the set of final uh, the set of elements are alpha power 5 alpha power 10 so here these are the set of elements for uh, alpha cube these are the set of elements for alpha power 5 so based on these representations now the polynomial <coughs> minimum polynomial that can be calculated by so for example minimum polynomial 5 1 of x that can be calculated by so here alpha is a representation so now 5 1 of x that can be calculated by x of alpha or x plus alpha because there is a root these are all called conjugate roots now x plus alpha x plus alpha square into x plus alpha power 4 into x plus alpha power 8 it is a 5 1 of x 5 2 of x is already there in the alpha so that's why Phi 1 of x and phi 2 of x are both are same so no need to calculate again so later on i will make the same uh, notation and phi 3 of x is nothing but 
x plus alpha q x plus alpha power 6 x plus alpha power 9 x plus alpha power 12 with that we can we can find and for phi 1 of x uh, <coughs> okay and uh, the polynomial that can be represented as uh, it's a minimum polynomial it is x power 4 plus x plus 1 by multiplying these two it is a phi 1 of x similarly phi 3 of x and phi uh, phi phi of x is equal to x plus alpha power 5 into x plus alpha power 10 here because m is equal to 4 we have to refer everything based on Galoisville extension that is a basic theme behind the BCH code for example if I change the order m is equal to 6 again the pattern will, will become completely different f is a set of elements from 0 1 alpha alpha square for uh, for example for m is equal to 6 m is equal to 6 0 1 alpha so 2 power alpha 2 power m minus 1 if m is equal to 6 it's a 63 alpha power 63 so here we'll get the element 0 1 alpha alpha square alpha cube up to alpha power 62 62 because alpha power 63 is equal to 1 so alpha power 63 like that there's an extension for this for m is equal to 4 okay and we are explaining uh, this representation okay and here for m is equal to 4 <coughs> as uh, we discussed it can uh, uh, it can correct up to three errors three errors so that's why here uh, we'll uh, discuss about the patterns okay and here um, for m is equal to 4 maximum value for t maximum value of t is equal to 3 so for example if we would like to find if you would like to find uh, what is the generator polynomial for t is equal to 1 simply generator polynomial g of x is equal to lcm of phi 1 of x comma phi 2 of x but phi 1 of x phi 2 of x are both are same so that's why simply it is phi 1 of x like x power 4 plus x plus 1 similarly for t is equal to 2 g of x actual formula is lcm of phi 1 of x phi 2 of x phi 3 of x phi 4 of x so as i mentioned here all uh, even, uh, even numbers are equivalent to its corresponding or preceding uh, even number so that's why it is it can be simplified as lcm phi 1 of x comma phi 3 of x only and don't assume phi 4 of x means it's alpha power 4 it is related to the phi 1 of x or not like this so here always even number minimum polynomial is similar to the it's a preceding odd number like phi 1 of x is equal to phi 2 of x phi 3 of x is equal to phi 4 of x that can be simplified okay and by multiplying these two polynomials phi 1 of x and phi 3 of x we can find generator polynomial for t is equal to 3 g of x is equal to LCM of the same pattern I'm writing phi 1 of x phi 3 of x phi 5 of x it's a representation in general case g of x generator matrix LCM of <coughs> phi 1 of x phi 3 of x phi 5 of uh, x and up to phi 2t minus 1 of x so once we got the g of x then we can find the same representation so for example uh, for m is equal to 4 let us assume uh, t is equal to <coughs> t is equal to 2 or 3 t is equal to 3 then n is equal to uh, 15 and uh, k is equal to 5 so that means with this combination we can find 15 comma 5 code it is also bch similar to the uh, having code bch code n comma k 15 comma k and uh, this code is capable of uh, correcting three errors three errors so because t is equal to 3 g of x that can be calculated by lcm of phi 1 of x phi 3 of x phi phi of x and once we got g of x code word v of x that can be calculated by g of x multiplied by d of x in either direction you can consider so with this we can generate the code word and uh, here we can take different examples and uh, with this uh, okay and uh, here uh, we can calculate the code word